Hello, Aquarius. Where are my cards? How you guys doing? This is Alex, and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. Guys, if the reading does resonate, yeah, don't be afraid to leave a comment about your situation and interact with other Aquarians going through what you're going through. All right. Oh my gosh. I love the greenery of those pentacles, Aquarius. Okay. You got the magician here. So this is abundance, right? This is, you know, kind of having it splurging. Um, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you may have more time and energy on your hands and you're trying to figure out what to do with it. Um, I feel like you want to, Mm, what is that? The Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, God. Okay, you're trying to figure out about, you're trying to figure out if you should uh, want to communicate with somebody who you feel like doesn't want to communicate with you. Or somebody who recently cut you off. Or somebody's trying to figure out if they want to communicate with you and you cut them off, right? It could go either way. Angels here with the three of wands. It's almost like you're waiting for that perfect time. I'm also getting that you're also waiting for a signal from this person. You're looking for some sort of sign from this Scorpio for me, <clears throat> for me as a reader. Or Libra. It could be another Aquarius as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Mercury. Um, this is the, you got the eight, the nine, and the page. So this has to do with time and attention and energy and money and material materialistic endeavors, right? And the first card there with the magician or the first um, symbol is you see right in front of him a pentacle as well. So this has a lot to do with, yeah, time. I feel like it's time and a lot of you guys um, weren't able to really live or hang out or interact with people because you were working so much. And I feel like at least for right now, you have a lot more time on your hand, your hands. Um, and I feel like you want to spend it with this queen of swords, but you don't know if she's going to, he or she is going to reject you. Or if they're going to kind of, quote unquote, welcome you back in. Well, let's see. Oh, well, it's not going to be easy. Okay. Um, you have the nine of pentacles and five. Yeah, you kind of shortchanged somebody, especially when it came to your time and also money. I'm also hearing even communication, even though the pentacles represents energy, opportunity, money, jobs, so on and so forth, right? I kind of felt like, um, yeah, there was a scarcity. You weren't giving that person your time. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say that because nine of pentacles and five of pentacles. That's exactly what that mean means. It's almost like maybe you had the time and you just didn't give it to them. You just didn't invest it to them. You, or you gave them like little breadcrumbs, like, you know, and now all of a sudden, um, you're wanting to make this right. You're wanting to like manifest something a little bit more stable or, you're wanting to kind of like give this another chance where, um, you know, with this Hierophant here, I just, I just hear you want to make this right. You have the page of Pentacles and the, the two of Pentacles. Again, that's sending a message like, yo, I messed up. You know, I apologize. You know, if you still want to hang out, then we can still hang out. Or, you know, I know you called me, but I didn't answer your call or I'm getting back to you two weeks too late, but you know, this two of pentacles to me has everything to do with balancing it out. If you shortchange them here and you want to make it right, then you have to offer, right? Page of pentacles, you have to offer them what exactly you shortchange them here. Eight of pentacles and eight of swords. Um, this person has, it's almost like they fell off the grid. They fell off the map, right? This person in particular they're all up in their heads. They are, um, I can also even hear to an extent for you, Aquarius, either you have them blocked or they, ha they have you blocked. They're not to an extent really open to be the conversation. Um, I feel like to an extent, yeah, they've been thinking about you a lot, but I feel like they're, 
portraying themselves as being very closed off. Now, here's the argument, right? If for some reason you do, you do decide to reach out cautiously, you're going to hear it. You're going to hear drama and controversy, right? Those five of wands, you're going to bump heads. You're going to go back and forth. You're going to have to, oh, why are you calling me now to be right? You, <laughs> it is what it is. You got to, it comes with the territory, right? So you can expect some sort of upheaval or strife. Um, but at the end of the day, it's like, is it worth it? Like, you know, that three of wands, again, you're looking for some sort of symbol that they still have it for you. They still want you. They still want you around, right? Um, I'm hearing take the chance and cross watcher. If you're wondering whether or not you should reach out to Aquarius. Yeah. Again, I'm saying to you, you got double eights here, which means again, you're going to have some sort of resistance. Okay. You put up eight pentacles of, Hey, I'm sorry. And I'm you know, working a lot and doing this and doing that. And they have eight resistors just waiting to happen and knock down every one of your excuses. So again, it's not going to be an easy conversation, but I do kind of feel like, you know, either you still have love for them or they definitely still have love for you. You just kind of have to, you know, again, take that idea from in your mind and what you've been thinking about. And, um, a lot of you guys have been watching videos or even asking people for advice on what should I do and, you know, do, if, if, if this were your situation, would you do this? Right. I feel like you've been kind of seeking advice from somebody on what your next steps are and what your next moves are and whomever you advise, they're like, yeah, I'll go ahead and reach out. I mean, if this person means to you, what you're saying, they do, I would go ahead and reach out. And, and here's the thing again, nine of pentacles and five of pentacles. It just kind of felt like you had it to give, but for some reason you weren't giving it. You kind of put them on a back burner or made them an option. Okay. You open with a nine and you close with a nine. I just noticed that <clears throat> within the next few weeks. So to me, that kind of means like the universe is going to give you that sweet spot where, oh, Mercury is going into retrograde. So typically when Mercury goes into retrograde, people from the past start to reappear. Big happy changes. Yeah, I feel like if you strike during that, that sweet spot that the universe is giving you, Aquarius, you can be incredibly successful. Yeah, wait. Again, I don't mean to beat a dead horse, but look, if you wait, you will have success. So that kind of says to me, listen to your intuition, um, pay attention to the universe. If you are looking for a sign, pay attention when you get it. And also when you do approach this person, yeah, heart in hand, apology on deck. That's the nine of cups, heart in hand, apology on deck. And hopefully you'll have a successful outcome as the angel answers cards say. All right, my lovely Aquarius, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're interested in a personal reading, my contact details are in the about section of my channel. And the only major arcana here is Taurus. So yeah, kind of stubborn energy. Oh, sorry. And then also Virgo and uh, Gemini with the magician card. All right, Aquarius, I love you. Bye.